What's up everybody? Jakey Crack Outdoors here and uh, here we go with another video. Um, this video ran a little longer than I typically like them to. Um, I usually like to do about two or three days in a video. This one here is about a week. Um, that was just mainly because I had a lot going on outside of in life. I just had a lot going on so I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. It turned out to be a pretty good video. Um, you're gonna see this guy here caught. There's a real nice coyote. So, got some coons that we're gonna be putting up here in a little bit. So, doing some work in the first shed. So, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, I wanna thank everybody. Uh, we made, I made it, I hit my goal. I got my thousand subscribers and I got my watch time. So, uh, I gotta do the paperwork and then I'll be under review. But uh, I wanna thank everybody for coming over. I really do. And uh, for everybody that's been here for a while, appreciate you guys sticking around. Hope you guys enjoy what you're seeing. And uh, we're gonna be doing a 1,000 giveaway here soon. Um, I'd say I'll probably have that video out within a week or so, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna be doing a giveaway, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you, so stay tuned. the set worked <laughs> another nice cone I thought I had him in his dirt hole for a second I was like man but I don't I got him in the DP I got a dirt hole right here and I got this DP here and I got another one up there so another medium medium maybe large cone at the best but now I'm seeing why this this landowner wants them gone because I'm catching a ton of them so all right we'll get get rid of this guy remake the set and uh, off to the next farm nothing so nothing on the beavers today but the creek changed its course it's down about six inches so All right, guys, take care of this guy. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So, we don't have a bobcat. But we got a stinker, a big old one, and he looks like he got nice fur. So, I have a monster grinner here, boy. This might be the biggest grinner I've ever seen. This guy. That's a big old grinner there, boy. I think he's gonna go on my wall. Alright guys. Yeah, I'm taking him. We're gonna I'd like to have a grinner for my wall and this one here looks like a good one for it. I mean he is. He's very nice furred, big, real white. Good catch. All right, guys, that's it. This is the last spot of the day. So what do we get here today? We got um, we got a raccoon, another cat, and a skunk, and a possum. Four catch day. We're going to do a little bit of an uh, unboxing here. And uh, what we got here is we got a package from F&T. And, and uh, I know there's been a lot of things being said about F&T, but um, I put this order in on Christmas Day, and uh, I got it today. Now, yeah, it's the 5th, so it was about almost two weeks, but um, the reality of it was you had two holidays, and then you had weekends that lined up right after the holidays, so I'm pretty happy with getting this when I got it. I mean, I would have loved to have it last week, but uh, it didn't really work out that way, so let's get into it. Pack and slip. I 
and I would have loved to have had this today as you'll see why here in a second but Alright guys, so this is what I was saying I wish I would have had today. I uh it's just it's what it is, is it's um it's a setup that's gonna go on um a broom handle and uh you put acetone in it and uh, it's for uh dispatching skunks. Fortunately I had a skunk today that ended up spraying after I shot it, so this would have been real handy today, but we got it for the future now, so we're good to go on that. Ah, wolf fangs I always take as my free uh, my free thing from f &T. As you can see, I got a whole bunch of wolf fangs that I'll, I've been making up right here. That they're all going to fall on the ground now. But um, I bought these pouches for, uh, for my pack basket. Uh, I really don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I bought them. Um, I got some Duke number fours. I got four more Duke number fours, so we're gonna get these. Uh, we're gonna get these in the dishwasher tonight, and we're gonna get some dryers made up for these. So uh, latex pan covers. I don't know why I use these guys, but I like them. Um, so we got that going. Soul Taker. I was just about out of Soul Taker, so we got some Soul Taker. And then we got some uh, some Dobbins Backbreaker, Caster Lore, and we got some Big Pal, some Dunlap Speed uh, Big Pal. So, we got some baits. I end up getting a 330 safety tool. So, got one of those. I'm, I'm, I don't like 330s. I'm a little afraid of them. It's the only trap that I'm really afraid of. And I'm not afraid of it. I just respect it. And then we got the template because I got to start putting some of these beavers up. So, we're going to get some boards made up. And uh, I bought the template, so we're, we're good to go on that now. So, but like I said, that's my order from F and T, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoy that kind of stuff. Um, I shouldn't have touched my camera because now it's all out of messed up. But um, we're doing good, guys. We're doing good on the season. Um, hope that we keep it up. Um, real close to that thousand subscriber mark so if i'm out there already make sure you hit that subscribe button and if i am you can still subscribe i mean we'll keep this thing going and uh stay tuned thanks for watching everybody all right guys so here we go the drag actually worked perfectly uh -huh. it got pulled over and he ran over here and got tied up and here goes the set um nice red fox Makes Red Fox number five on the season for me, so. Yeah, we got them very good. We got them deep. So, all right, guys. I'm take care of this guy. And uh, I'll get back to you. Stay tuned. It's a beautiful fox. It really is. I mean, look at it.
I'll get you pictures when I get him out of this out of here, but uh, he's beautiful. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So there we go. Uh, he looked a lot bigger when he was in that brush pile, but it's fox number five of the year for me. And actually, when I started out this season, I started out with some goals, and uh, five fox was was my goal. I expected to get five fox up camp, but I got two up camp, and uh, I got three up camp and two down here. So um, I think I'm done with the red fox. I think I'm gonna start letting them go. Um, being I never caught one, I just wanted a couple that I'm going to tan and keep myself, so, um, we're doing going to do that, we're going to, that'll be it, so, unless it's something really hurt with a bad paw or something, then, uh, we're going to start letting the red fox go, so, but, we got the set remade right here, um, just a step down dirt hole, I got some soul taker in there, um, he didn't really mess the set up at all, I got the drag reset, I got this tree just sort of hiding the chain a little bit, and then I got this, uh, my drag that I could see from across the creek. That's how I knew I had a catch here today. All right, guys, we got a tiny little, I think it's a beaver. Might be a muskrat. I don't know. Yeah, he's a beaver. He's tiny. All right, guys, let me take care of this guy and I'll get back. All right, guys. So, here we are. Look at that. That guy is tiny. He's probably 12 pounds. It's crazy. Hey, he grows into the big one. And he look at the as we stand in one of his uh, crop circles. So we're gonna keep catching him. Stay tuned. I'm thinking that guy there. I think he's gonna stay with me. I think he's gonna be my. Uh, my camp's pretty small, and it'd be cool to have a small beaver hung up out there, so. Not to waste this little guy. I think, I think he's going to be on my wall, so. You know. All right, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So. You can see, I just snapped that trap, but we had a catch here. This is, uh, this is becoming one of my better sets. I've caught uh, two beaver, and now I just caught my second muskrat in it. Not what I'm shooting for, but I'll take it. But the funny part is, is it's a small rust muskrat, and it's almost uh, it's almost as big as the beaver. All right, guys, I'm not going to be complaining about dragging these ones out. So, all right, uh, check the water. Now we got to go back out the other side. I got all kind of snares and or cable restraints. Sorry, cable restraints all through there and some DPS, but not expecting too much on the coon raccoon action so stay tuned all right guys so it was a cold night but you know getting this guy i think i'm gonna do a release on him all right guys so we go that's a nice big old raccoon here yeah he's a nice one so it's keeping the streak going um the only day in 2021 i haven't had a catch was uh the first i've at least had one catch every single day so that's awesome i mean it makes a makes continuing going a lot easier it's some days where you stretch together with no catches it hurt so we're uh we're trudging along it's still we're having trouble with the canines uh i don't know the plan is today we're gonna put some more sets out um tomorrow i should be putting cables out so we're gonna expand a little bit and i don't know what's going on i'm getting action at my sets are just not stepping where they need to step i mean it's been a season of close calls with the coyotes but uh I'm really far off my goal, so we need to start stepping up and catching more, so stay tuned. All right, guys, here we go. Coyote number five, and it's a nice one. First dog on a cable restraint this year.
Nice dog. I got it behind the front legs and I hate that. My hoop, my loops are too big. So, all right guys, awesome. Let me take care of this guy. And uh, I got some other cables. I don't see nothing moving around here, but we'll take it. I had this cable here and I got another one there. And I got three more down in here. So we also got the pipe dream and we got a DP up here. So awesome. Let me take care of this guy and uh, I'll get back to you. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we got us another catch in a cable down here. This is my first raccoon in a cable. So, all right, we're gonna take care of this guy. So, good day, three catches. Let's see, we, and we still gotta go. What do we got going on down here? I thought I seen a carcass. It's a wood pile. I thought I seen a carcass down there. So, all right, let me take care of this guy and uh, <laughs> we'll get back to you. Stay tuned, everybody. All right, guys. So, here we go. Here's today's catch. This coyote's really nice. He's got some really long guard hairs on him. It's a really nice dog. Uh, the skunk was from the other day. He's been in the creek washing. He stunk. And uh, I'm pretty close to him right now and I can barely smell him, so not bad. These two coons. But uh, that dog there was the first dog on uh, J Dub cable restraint. So appreciate it, J Dub. Uh, cables work great, man. Awesome. Thank you again. Hopefully, we get some more here. It's coyote number five. I'm way off my goal, but we're going to keep going. But we're catching a lot of other critters so if you guys haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button uh got a lot of season left uh hopefully we're gonna do a lot of big things here so stay tuned thanks for watching everybody all right guys here we go coyote number six and this was that set pretty good call him down and this was that set that uh i remade so all right guys uh, i got him only by a couple toes so i'm gonna take care of this guy and uh i'll get back to you but man he, he's vocal he wants to talk so all right calm down Come on, boy. But awesome. He's a nice dog, too. Another nice dog. So it's two in a row, back to back days. That's coyote number six. So we're on a roll, guys. Awesome. All right. Let me take care of this guy and uh, get on down the line. Hopefully, we got another one. Be awesome. Stay tuned. What's up everybody? So what I want to do here is I want to talk about locations and uh, I want to show you a little bit about why I sit here and what happens if you pick the right location. So as you can see, we just got a crop change and there's a little farm lane that runs right down here that the farmer, he pretty much runs it and I run it. So it's pretty much a little two track farm lane, whatever you want to call it. But we had some standing corn here and I'm not sure what this is, but it's some kind of other crop that he plants. But um, so you you assume they're going to run this. It's the ridge top. So you come over here, and then you see it branches off. It becomes three fields, and it's a little low lying dip that comes up there. The road is actually over that dip that I drive up the hard the gravel road. But so. You just got a lot going on in this one little area and uh i sat here last year and uh what happens is after heavy rains is this gets flooded out so 
I sat here last year and I had trouble because I sat down here at the low line. So I moved up here to where I got the coyote this morning. And I got my dirt. I got a, a hay set right here with some beaver carcass. But even this got a little underwater. And this, this set was actually... Uh, this was that set that I said they were walking all over, but everywhere I need them to. So I redid that trap and uh, paid off. But like I said, guys, it's just a it's just a pinch point. It brings everything together right here. So um, if you got a spot like this, set it. Um, like I said, I got two sets here, but it didn't pay off for me last year. But so far this year, it's got some action. Uh, this is a first catch, but. Um, I had some other other action up here so all right guys thanks for watching and uh i hit my thousand so uh got my goal i appreciate it. everybody that came over thank you uh everybody's been with me so thank you appreciate it really i do uh sort of crazy to actually think that i made it because <laughs> there was a lot of times i didn't think i was that i was just doing videos to do videos but I'm still doing videos to do videos so all right, guys, appreciate it, and uh, stay tuned for the giveaway. We'll be having a giveaway video drop real soon. Uh, it may even drop before you see this, so thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned.